Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It's actually Tuesday, happy Tuesday, but I still hope your week is starting off great. I got back from Vegas at like 2 a.m. because my flight got delayed a little and I live so far. So yesterday, Monday, I literally was just in survival mode um, with like teaching and stuff. So when I got home, I just, I just went to bed and it was fine, but anyways new week new things happening i also have like no groceries at home because i was gone but also for a reason just because it's teacher appreciation week and we always get lots of food either like breakfast or lunch so i really just i didn't want to waste money honestly or overeat i've been into chai lately so i just get the iced chai with almond milk and one shot of blonde very good. I have so much to catch up on. Y'all want to see my stack of grading? Like, yeah. Probably get that done because I really, I've been trying, I've been doing good. Like, I'll get that done. I've been trying not to let it wait until the end of the year because I have so much other stuff to do this year opposed to other years. Like, clean out my classroom and things like that this was new this year for teacher appreciation week but they are letting us dress down every day because we obviously have a dress code i feel like a lot of people don't realize that about teachers but i mean in some way every school has a dress code for teachers but anyway i get to dress down all week so today i'm just wearing my mabasita um sports foundation hoodie and Air Force Ones and leggings. So cozy, which is also a lifesaver and super nice because I teach basketball skills on Tuesday. And it's like five, I have five minutes between teaching first grade and teaching fifth, sixth basketball skills. And it's active, so I have to change. So today I won't like be running around trying to change and stuff before my class. I feel like that is a a decent appreciation gift, if I may say so. It's very nice. Saved me a lot of time this morning. So yeah, I approve of that one. The catered lunch today is Qdoba, which I'm excited about. Oh my god, my room looks a mess! <clears throat> So many reading lessons to get caught up on. Oh yeah, I was going to do that. So cute. I haven't had like a burrito in so long. Usually I get like a bowl or tacos, honestly. Oh wow. I didn't know there was a cookie in here. I already got a plate of cookies. Okay, y'all, don't judge me, but there's so many, like, snacks around. There's just so much food on these weeks. Like, this week and when we have conferences, our school is really good about, like, getting us things, um, getting us snacks and stuff to eat. But I literally just went and grabbed, like, a few of their snacks so that I can pack my lunch for the week. Because, like I said, I didn't go grocery shopping. And... There was bagels, so I took a bagel for my breakfast tomorrow, you know. I got like there's all of these. I got some fruit. I mean, hey, they got it for us, so might as well. You don't feel appreciated every day as a teacher. Oh yeah, let me show you another thing that I love about our school during this week we have this day where we bring where they bring like a one bouquet but then they share with all their teachers so like one of my students gave me a sunflower a rose a tulip some carnations and then some of them bring you in bouquets and that's fine but 
so cute, right? It's like my favorite thing. And then these sticky notes were like all over my door of compliments. It's cute. It's a cute week. Oh, should we open my present I got? I didn't even realize that. Oh, I really don't want to open it, but because it's so cute. Oh, how cute. Teachers like you add just the right spice to life. Here's a little something from our favorite spice shop. We appreciate all of your hard work and care. Thank you for being everything nice. Cute. I think it's from this little shop in like the downtown area. Like I love that teacher appreciation week is like this week rather than the last week of school. Just because then you can thank your students properly for all of it. magnet a celebration of the spirit of kindness oh how cute it's about um like it's a teacher's box so it comes with this cute it's like a cookbook but oh and it has teacher stories this is a really cute gift i love it super cute I'm telling you, I love quality over quantity with these gifts. Like, so cute. And they're so much more meaningful, you know. Let's go home for my class. It was so good. I was so, so, I'm so sweaty. I can't wait to shower, but I, I think I'm going to wash my hair tonight. It's only been like almost a week. I usually wait for a week or more, but... I'm gonna try this the viral oil because it says it helps like scalp and hair strengthening and split end care and I need all that my hair is just naturally really oily so I'm gonna try to do this on hair washing days cuz yeah let's see it's perfect so Mm, smells so good. Okay. I think I'm just gonna start with this. Oh, it feels so good. I really am trying to strengthen my hair. And it's getting better so I'm excited to try this I'm gonna try to just do it when I wash my hair first scene because yeah it's gonna be very oily so I'm gonna do that this is a good start okay now split ends and yeah <laughs> that was a lot I should really wait to record this when they're done in the hallway because hold please Okay, I think we're good now. Day three of Teacher Appreciation Week. So cute. All the cute little gifts I got today. I love them. These are on my desk. What are, what are these candies? Oh, maybe like Mintos. Should I try one? I used to love those. All right, you know. I don't really know what that is. A few of my students brought some gifts today, so let's see what they got me. I just love, I love handwritten cards so much, honestly. Miss Hernan, thank you for being a great teacher. Thanks for being helpful. We learned to read. Well, it's the dog picture for me. They're so cute. Let's see. Oh, I do get so many cups, but yeah, this one's, this one's cute. Oh, it comes with the mini straw for the little holder. That's so cute. Because teachers can't survive on apples alone. That's super cute. I like that. And that's hilarious. Honestly, I love that little thing. With 
<laughs> some cute socks um if you can read this this teacher is off duty oh they're so cute these would be good for flights they feel like very compression that was a cute one all right no, this one let's see oh that's really cute you do a latte for our school time to treat yourself i love that so much those are cute i wonder where they got those oh yay and a bunk cake which i'm saying yay because i love them but y'all like one of my students also brought me this whole box of donuts i'm like i'm like oh do i just pick one he's like no actually those are all for you i'm like <laughs> yay but like what so yeah and i am gonna eat all of these because they were a gift like <laughs> but anyways i'm good on all the sugar for a long time decided to do just kind of like my self-care or like my more in-depth skincare routine because my skin I'm breaking out so bad and I don't know why like I don't really drink that much so like all the drinking from Vegas and then just all the like junk food I've been eating at work really did it for me so we're gonna do my routine that i do when, when i need a skin reset <laughs> i've been using the youth to the people cleanser the green tea one it's so good it's honestly changed my skin this is the exfoliator i've been using from lush and i love it and i love that it's natural and my skin actually feels like like it's been cl deeply cleaned you know and I always like to steam before I do a mask, especially like one that's like a deep cleaning mask, like a charcoal mask and things like that. Um, just because it like opens the pores and I feel like it gets more clean. So this is my little facial steamer I use. It's linked in my Amazon storefront too. And it honestly feels so good and works pretty good. I feel like I get good results from it. The face mask I'm using tonight is this one. I like it because it's it warm. It's like a warming mask, which is kind of cool. When you rub it on your skin, then it turns this grayish color. You know, it's like warming and activating. I feel like I can feel it working, you know, when it does that. I'm really just going to do my problem areas and i love it because this mask it only takes five minutes everyone needs one of these like sponges <laughs> it's like a beauty blender sponge okay anyways now i'm just gonna finish with my moisturizer but this one so freaking good like it's also helped my skin so much i feel, I feel like my skin is like healthy now all right, I'm finishing and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I am truly sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. It will not stop raining. I honestly can't believe it's raining this much, but I just don't like it. I just am so unproductive when it's like this, honestly. Like yesterday, I didn't go to the yesterday was a hard day teaching it's like that sometimes so i just went home and chilled but then i just like couldn't get up to go and i'm just like you know what i'll just be like productive in other ways so i got some stuff done but i just feel so sluggish but then it's been raining all day today so i did make it to the gym but i'm like ugh, dragging this weather it's giving seattle in and, and i don't like that i don't like that and i still have zero groceries 
all the teacher appreciation junk food is carrying me through the week but i don't like that either i feel so gross i really want to make you know what i kind of want to make that viral tiktok sandwich with like belt, like banana peppers and and like you mix in a bag should i make that i think i might make that but obviously veggie oh but then i have to stop for groceries Meh. i don't know i'm struggling so bad right now look at my cute flowers though <laughs> they're super cute red and shotgun i love flowers i don't know y'all this is just too much for me but yeah i'm going to this like strength and conditioning class i just want to sweat like i hate that i took off yesterday but i needed it for my mental health that was real bad. Sometimes I'm like, y'all are not too cool to not use an umbrella. You're, you're getting soaked. Like, that is not cute. I'm gonna use my umbrella. <laughs> y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I ended up just making dinner at home. I stopped at Trader Joe's, of course, and um, picked up some things. I'm so proud of myself, though, and I know why I wanted to eat out because all I've ate is, like, refined carbs. I feel like once you start eating those, that's all you want. Like, I've had so many bagels this week, and I wanted bread. I wanted that sandwich, so I ended up making, like, that TikTok salad. It's, like, mini bell peppers, mini cucumbers, the chili crunch oil and everything but the bagel seasoning let's see it hmm. it's good i feel like you probably have to put a lot of it to like be super super seasoned but i like those vegetables so i don't mind and then i also just got like the like whatever soy mandarin chicken alternative situation and i try not to eat processed meats but i thought it would be better than having refined carbs yet again not so good i like it i definitely keep making it just to get my veggies in you know and the workout the workout class i went to was earlier so i feel like i do have like an extra hour than i usually have so i'm just gonna sit and eat and do a little bit of work while i'm finishing eating so then i can just chill so i went to an earlier workout class today at 4 30 instead of like 5 36 and um yeah i like it i have like a little more time so i'm gonna finish eating and get a little bit of work done so then like i can be done earlier and then chill er earlier i think i'm gonna start going to 4 30 classes i'm gonna see what it looks like because i really like being done at least at least until the school year is over maybe i'll do it thank goodness tomorrow's friday I'm over this week it's like been such a weird week <laughs> It's Friday. I'm so tired. But what's new? I'm getting ready to leave the school. But one, I have to wait for the carpool line to go. But um, yeah, usually on Fridays, whenever I have a free Friday, which is not a lot, but I actually love doing like a reset on Friday because then I can enjoy my weekend. So tonight, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get ourselves ready because I really just wanna enjoy two full days of my weekend without having to think about any prep. So what I mean by that, I'm going to go get my nails done right now because they look atrocious from Vegas. If you know, you know. And then I'm going, I wanna run some errands and I do wanna do some like late night cardio because 
I really just want to get all this nasty junk food I've been eating all week out of my system. I think I'll feel better before I, you know, go to sleep and start my weekend. So I'm going to do all that and then I also get really productive on Friday nights so I'll probably edit or do some type of work because, yeah, I don't know. It's like I finally don't have to think about teaching because it's the end of the week and I just like have like a clear mind and I work so well on Friday nights. So yeah, we're gonna head to go get my nails done now. Just finished my nails. I literally get the same thing every time. I'm a very simple girly. I always get a natural pink and then short square round. I love it very low maintenance so yeah now i'm gonna head home i'm actually so excited for this uh me and my mom we i think this really started during covid we would always do groceries together and then now we like always run errands together but we haven't been lately just because i've been so busy so i'm gonna go pick her up and i'm just so excited i have to go to costco because I'm out of like staples like oatmeal I get there and things like that. Then I want to go to Home Goods and Target for the rest of the stuff. I'm revamping my website, my Get Right with Rach website. So tomorrow I'm planning on taking some updated photos for that and just need some organizing props if you know what I mean. So. That is the plan. Oh, I'm just so excited. This is like fun for me. I love feeling like back in a routine, back like reset, just like my space feeling productive and put together. Today is about to be a day for sure. I just finished my workout, which was so nice. I just have so many things going on today. So now I'm going to go home. Just please excuse how much of a mess I look today because I don't care. So you shouldn't care. <laughs> now I'm going to go and me and my mom are going to go visit my grandma since it's Mother's Day weekend. But right now is like the only time that I can go, which is why I'm rushing because then after that, I have basketball to watch. And then after that, I have to go all the way to my dad's house. So I'm using my dad's kitchen to film content, but he lives so far. So right after basketball, I'm going and I'm going all the way out there, which is so far from me across the city. But then I'm staying there for a little while because then it's his it was his birthday on Tuesday. So we're having his birthday celebration. And man, I swear, every time this time of year comes around, like right as soon as my birthday hits, I know like there is just always something. So yeah, I'm running around today and I'm hungry and I don't, I'm not going to be able to eat. Uh, 
just it's just a lot anyways mm -hmm.